If flag desecration is free speech, how come it's censored in school? Vertical line Sverlana Manchevia Vertical line comment is free Vertical line techguardian.com Turn auto play off Turn auto play on Please activate cookies in order to turn auto play off Jump to content test Jump to comments C Jump to site navigation 0 Jump to search for Terms and conditions 8 Edition UK US so Your activity Email subscriptions Account details Linked services. Profile mobile. About us. About us. Australia team. Contact us. FAQs. Press office. Jobs. Terms of service. Privacy policy. Advertising guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email services. Ethany. Android. GSC control CSD with. 25 rem exclamation point important padding zero float right input dot gsc search button background color number sign pddd border color number sign pddd input dot gsc search button colon hover background color number 999 border color number 999 news world sport comment culture business environment Science, travel, technology, life and style, data, TV, video, comment is free. If flag desecration is free speech, how come it's censored in school? Artistic and protest uses of old glory are protected by the U.S. Constitution by Earls unless, apparently, you're teaching art history. Share, tweet this, email, Svetlana Mintcheva, theguardian.com. Saturday, September 14, 2013, 22.00 AEST. Jump to comments. The U.S. flag burned by protesters outside the 2000 Democratic National Convention in Los Angeles. Photograph, Pablo Martinez Monsivia slash AP. A successful component of a college credit art history class at McCracken County High School in Paducah, Kentucky has been canceled because of a controversy provoked by an art installation involving the United States flag. The furor over what was simply a student's recreation of a 1989 piece by Dred Scott raises grave questions about the extent to which schools can, do or should censor educational assignments in fear of political pressure. To engage her students in a reading about the history of art, the teacher set various assignments for which one option was to exhibit a restagging of an artwork accompanied by an infographic. The students chose that last option and recreated one of Jasper John's flag pieces. The work featuring the flag by Faith Ringgold, and spots what is the proper way to display a U.S. flag. All of these works were, at some point, controversial, but the showdown that McCracken focused on the Dred Scott piece, this was an audience participation installation that features a montage of images of flag-draped coffins and South Korean students burning U.S. flags, the response book, and a flag laid on the ground. Audience members are given the choice of stepping or not stepping on the flag as they write in the response book. For the 30 minutes the Dred Scott restagging was on display in the school hallway, the students in the class responded to questions and engaged their peers in a lively discussion. Soon after, however, the assistant principal, accompanied by a student, removed the flag, thus dismantling the installation. After the incident was reported in the press, the ensuing hate-filled furor in mainstream and social media led the school and the teacher concerned to issue apologies. Any future repetition of the assignment has been cancelled. In future, teachers offering similar, potentially offensive assignments will have to seek permission from the school administration. The Stars and Stripes is probably the most emotionally loaded symbol in the U.S. virals even if the emotions it stirs are often contrary. American soldiers raised it in triumph over Iwo Jima at the end of the Second World War, while the Vietnam War protesters burned it in disgust at the military actions of the U.S. government. More recently, the flag was reverentially draped on the coffins of U.S. soldiers killed fighting America's increasingly unpopular wars by Earls and the Stars and Stripes continues to be used by artists to condemn those wars. Repeated congressional attempts to ban flag desecration have been invalidated by the U.S. Supreme Court because the symbolic act of burning the flag has been ruled a type of expression protected by the First Amendment. Indeed, some of the Supreme Court's most eloquent words in defense of free